Democrats claim Trump is unfit to be president, 25th Amendment author sets them straight. The 25th Amendment to the United States Constitution rarely gets much attention. However, it has become a hotly debated topic as of late, with Democrats attempting to use it to force President Donald Trump out of office. With those on the left claiming Trump is unfit to be president, one of the authors of the 25th Amendment has come forward to set them you all straight. Passed in 1965 after the assassination of John F. Kennedy, the 25th Amendment clarifies the line of presidential succession should a president demonstrate the inability to serve. It was a previously obscure amendment, right up until the Democrats got the harebrained idea that they could use it to remove President Donald Trump from office. With Trump's presidency already a resounding success in only its first 11 months, Democrats are scrambling. At this point, there is seemingly no doubt that Trump will easily secure the White House again in 2020, and those on the left are panicking. Trump has systematically delivered on nearly every single campaign promise he made to the American people, and he is working diligently to come through on the ones which have not yet been completely realized. Take, for example, the border wall. It hasn't happened yet, thanks to Democrats making it an uphill battle, but Trump is doing everything in his power to make sure that it moves forward, come hell or high water. Meanwhile, the president has all but defeated ISIS, passed sweeping tax reform which has resulted in bonuses for many Americans, brought hundreds of thousands of jobs back to America, and turned the economy around after it took a major beating during Barack Obama's eight-year presidency. In short, the Democrats have good reason to panic. With no legitimate reason to attack Donald Trump, they have now resorted to calling for him to be removed from office on the basis that he is mentally unfit. This, of course, is absolutely ridiculous. Only a mental genius could accomplish all that Trump has in such little time, especially with such tremendous forces working against him. Logic has never stopped a Democrat from pushing a bogus narrative, though, so the left has embarked on a quest to sabotage Trump's presidency by declaring that he is somehow intellectually incapable of running the country and should be removed under the 25th Amendment. However, an author of the 25th Amendment has put a serious damper on their plans. Vox interviewed Jay Berman to find out if the 25th Amendment could be used to remove President Donald Trump from office, clearly hoping that Berman would affirm their view that it could be. Unfortunately for the team at Vox and their cronies on the left, Berman did no such thing. I'll ask you straightforwardly, said reporter Sean Ling. Do you think the 25th Amendment should be invoked to remove Donald Trump from office? Berman, an extreme liberal, had a surprising answer. At this moment, I don't think he meets the test of a president who's incapable of fulfilling his responsibilities, he said. I think he was elected to do these dumb things added Berman, taking the opportunity to smear Trump, even though he could not say the president is mentally unfit to serve. He hasn't become dumber or meaner since he was elected, this is who he's always been. This was who he was when he ran, and may well have been the reason people elected him, Berman continued. The problem is that we have a ridiculous electoral system and a bizarre set of circumstances that conspired to make this situation possible, Berman went on. But I can't honestly say that the 25th Amendment is the answer right now. The answer right now is impeachment, he added. I think we ought to be talking more about how horrible our electoral system is, a system that commits the person with less votes to beat the candidate with more votes, Berman said. Proving just how far left he is, Berman continued to criticize our electoral college, which was put in place to protect minority interests and direct more power to the states. This is the fundamental issue which people have neglected to think about in the rush to the 25th Amendment. None of this would have happened if we had a direct popular election, but we don't do it that way, and now, we're trying to fit the 25th Amendment into this unique set of circumstances, he said. To conclude, even a radical leftist who helped craft the 25th Amendment and hates President Donald Trump does not think that he should be removed from office for being mentally unfit to serve. It's time for the Democrats to put down their pitchforks and maybe take a basic civics class, class.